Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Star Sector episode number 8. So here we are up against this uh, bounty, um, well potential bounty, 63,000. You can see why it costs so much because they have three wolves with them. Woe is me. Now thankfully in the off, off camera I went over and I did pick up, I mean I saw a salvage ship, I was just looting some ships. I did pick up a wolf class to help defend us. This is still not going to be an easy fight though. So we'll move into engage, but I give us not great odds. I don't want to die again though. I really, 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 really don't want to die again. What we're going to do is go backwards as fast as possible. Hopefully this guy escorts me. Is he escorting me? I think he is. I, I don't know, but I hope so. It looks like he's coming back, yeah. So we want to try to isolate the wolves. Um, I think we can pick him off if we just go really, really quick into them. And I plan on not just going really quick into them, but like using everything to get, just knock them out of the sky. We just want to swap them. There's three of them, we have to remember. That's like not an easy, manageable number. So we'll swing over here to the nebulae, some environmental interference. And we can't, I would like to be able to just pick these guys off at range, but we're not going to be able to do that. So for now, shields up. Take a one hit there, which was unnecessary. All right, let's focus on this guy. Oh boy, uh, this is not looking good. Not a good start. Can vent every opportunity I get. Let's focus on this guy. Gonna get him. Okay, he's, he's out, he's out. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Got him. Vent. Let's try to save my buddy. Just by charging in aggressively. We have to take it, definitely taking some whole damage here. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him. Amazing. So far, so good. Now just get out of my way so we can start targeting this guy. And that wolf is going to be a problem though. So I'm going to turn off control 3 to give us our flux boost. Oop, short lived flux boost, but no, nope, we're back up. All we need to do is run away. That's his job is to take to absorb damage and then flux. Phase jump out. Phase jump out, buddy. Phase jump out. God, you got to phase jump out or otherwise you're dead. Okay, he did it. Whew, finally. And he's venting. We, we do need to still protect him. Let's go back to one. Let's turn on our long-range gun. And I think we go after the main guy now. So let's see. Is this doing any damage? Not really. Activate this. We are doing some damage, yes. Okay, who wins? I don't know. We it does not look like we win. Now, our, our friend is going to get in there, though. He's going to take down our shields so we can start losing flux. And he has to keep his up, but he's also losing it. Who's losing at a faster rate? I don't know. <laughs> I think, well, we are definitely losing at a faster rate now. So we're going to be able to do this. Our first victory in a long time. Great, we're being hit. All right, we need to go in. I need to get close enough to this guy. Got him. Got him. Ha ha ha. Okay, wait. 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 Here we go. Switch to two. Let's give him some, some other stuff to think about. Activate our shields as well since we're really going into the fray now. And we got him. We got him. Not much left now. Woof. This was a hell of a fight. Moving right on to the next one. Or, yeah, now our buddy's got our back. This guy's probably just going to try to retreat.
We got him. Oh man, this is so much better. Holy cow. Let's go ahead and try after this one now. We're on a roll, aren't we? Okay, that's fine. He's going to get away, I think. So basically what we've done is only eliminate, I think, one ship. I'm going to go ahead and just claim the victory here and move back in after them. Okay, wow. N never mind. We took out a hound, a sunder, with the main one, a mud skipper, and a wolf. So that means there's two wolves left that probably will get away. And I don't know. With this, the wolves, our wolf is not going to be able to participate. So this, it's kind of a little bit risky to go after these guys. We're done, right? We lost one crew, unfortunately, but uh, I think we're in good shape. Why don't we just harry their retreat, but this doesn't do anything but lower their combat effectiveness? And then essentially it lets them go. So I don't think, is there, what is the comm link? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've killed the, the man himself. I don't think you have to take out the whole fleet. We've killed him. So let's just harry their retreat and let's do this as a an exercise. No, I don't want to consider even though this is a wolf class, what what's the degraded engines power grid? No, this one's just even worse. So just continue, pick through the wreckage. We got 1,500 bounty, I mean 1,500 credits from that anyway. A lot of good stuff. Actually, I wish I had not done that. I, I didn't even see what I'm salvaging, but okay, fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't really matter. Now, I think we at this point, ooh, 16,000 experience. You can see how much better it is to do combat than to actually, to, you know, you get like, I was getting like two, uh, 1,200, 2,000 maybe for trade. You get 1,000 for discovering little points of interest in these new systems that are unexplored. But you get 16,000 for doing things differently. And I think that we are in kind of like a delicate enough place that this flux generated by active shields and phase cloak minus 25% seems useful to me. Actually, no, I turned them off. No, 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 I, I think I'm gonna go with, okay, well, let's look at the other options here. 25% ballistic and an energy projectile. I do like 15% weapon damage, the third tier of this. It's obviously amazing. No, don't care about that. Don't care about that. Don't care about this. Gonna need this one eventually though. Uh, yeah, 50% maneuverability. Well, every point that we spend with a, on that's not on the main combat thing is just another turn that we have to wait before we get 10% top speed, which I think is gonna be more valuable than a lot of the other things we're looking at here. So I'm just gonna do this and confirm. So we did it, we made the Sunder work. Um, it's in a very suboptimal configuration as well. We should really be having two, not this tactical laser, which is garbage. We should definitely have two of the kinetic energy weapons. So let's go ahead and just claim our bounty. This will be basically what we want to do. And uh, let's look at our inventory. Okay, yeah. A lot of weapons we really need to sell, but definitely enough fuel it looks like to get back. Okay, so as soon as we return, we won't get the bounty right away. This is one of the things that I didn't know about the game when I first started playing is you actually have to return to the, the central area to be back in comm range in order to report the success of the bounty. And I think you still have to do that within the time limit, which is no longer listed here. So I don't, maybe that's not true. Maybe just picking him off in the desired time is all you need to do. I'm starting to suspect that instead. But I know that it was like 30 days. At, it's probably like 20 days after this one. So we, we're going to get back and with plenty of time. Where do we want to go? Well, I think we'll stick to hegemony space just because that's what I'm most familiar with. Do a sustained burn here. Forget about those guys. And we have a jump point right here. We'll turn our transponder off, or sorry, on. It's obviously good to turn it off as soon as you leave Hegemony space. We'll turn that back on as soon as we get closer. And you know, I'm really happy we picked up that wolf. It, like, We could not have done that without the wolf. Somebody commented like the wolf was not effective earlier. And you were right, like it was not doing very well. So losing a bit of supply, we have five more days before these are all repaired. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, there's one and one more, four more days before 
Which one is this? That's my main ship which has to be repaired? I guess I did take a lot of hull damage. Okay, there it is. So, bounty payment, 63,000 credits. Up to 130,000. And you can see the cycle that we're living in. We live life on the edge, we lose two flagships, we gain one bounty, and we're back up on to uh, even, feel, even footing, an even keel. Where do, what do we want to do now? Let's check out the new bounties, which we probably just had access to. So these are now over. We have one which is probably way too difficult for us. Oh my gosh, a Mora class carrier. This is my least favorite ship to take on. 93,000 is an enforcer. I don't mind that enforcer, but the fact that it's 93,000 with an enforcer means that they probably have like 10 other ships with them and it's really far away as well. Otherwise, this is just about to end. So what we need to do is just find a place to put all our metal down. Let's go back to our home planet, which I'm considering Ancerna just because we have access to storage there. So we'll make our way that way just because uh, we'll turn on our transponder as well because we don't we don't have any real fear of pirates or anything here. Not that we're really capable of defeating everything. I am feel a lot more confident of defeating stuff in my hammerhead. Oh, okay. Well, that happened. Um, <clears throat> this should be a pretty easy fight. No wolf equals easy win. That wolf, I swear, is just so overpowered. I probably didn't even need to deploy my wolf as an escort. I think we're gonna be in good shape going up against this directly. So let's just use this rock as cover. It's my instinct. We wanna let them drift towards us a little bit because if they retreat, I want to be able to pounce on them. We might even get like a running start and charge after them so that the collision is happens at too quick of a speed for them to disengage. But they seem to be kind of drifting in, so yeah, this guy actually started to pull back when he saw that we were this Cerberus is going to be really easy to take down. He has no shields. So let's engage. Oh, just kidding. I thought the Cerberus didn't have shields. Maybe some of them don't. Okay. Go ahead and do that all you want, buddy. But it's not going to work out well when I start shooting you like this. And that other ship is not even doing enough damage to matter. So we're just going to put on the hurt here. And a few missiles from our assistant. It's going to mean that this guy is going down in a hurry. Okay, next. Looks like this guy is the one who doesn't have any... But we'll just go ahead and... Not like these rockets are doing anything in our, in our ship anyway. Good damage. That should be all she wrote. Good, vent, and let's go after this guy quickly. I'm gonna switch back over to one, which is my auto pulse cannon. I love this. This new ship configuration is just obviously so much better. Okay, we're starting to do damage to their shields. Almost close enough that. Oh, we did a little bit. Nice. Nice. Oh gosh, that is beautiful. That auto pulse gun is so good. All right, activate our extreme damage and we blew that ship apart. That was that was wonderful. It's kind of a really satisfying when an enemy pursues you as in they think based on your ship configuration that they can defeat you. The fact that you defeat them is kind of like a, a sign that I think you're playing better than the game expects which is nice. We also got um, our first mod spec. This is a makeshift shield generator, which might be what that Cerberus was using, come to think about it. Um, so we don't know this one yet. It says right click to learn, not already learned. We'll go ahead and right click to learn that one, but I guess we can't do it yet. We'll pause inventory, right click. There it is, acquired the whole mod. Good, very good. So it'll take us a little while to get our ship back up in combat readiness, but okay. Tritachion has posted a bounty, and I do like Tritachion. I actually want to get ourselves in good favor with them. This is an Enforcer class destroyer, and he's a capable officer, which means I don't think he has a big fleet. And I've been extremely happy with the way our Wolf class has been performing. Kind of makes you wonder, like, what if I actually had a full Wolf class? Like, this thing is, I mean, what if I had a, a well, uh, like, a not damaged Wolf 
So this one has compromised whole and reliable subsystems degraded. I mean, if it didn't have those things, it would be even better, supposedly. So it's something to think about. Now, we don't actually want to go... I want to go to Encerna directly. So I'm going to turn off this. Good. Don't think we want to go into the <laughs> into the sun itself. Sustain burn, return to course, and hold shift. Little updates here. We have food shortage. This is the only way I think you can ever make money is when a planet has a f Oh, what? They went after us. Was that because I didn't have my transponder on? No, we do have a transponder on. And we're pretty good friends with the hegemony, it turns out, right? Because doing all these contracts for them, we look at our factions rating. We're up to welcoming. Uh, yeah, and we're not carrying anything illegal. Plus one with the independence, plus three with Tritachion. Again, I like the Tritachion ships better than any other ships, the endgame ones. So those are that's something we should move towards. Okay, now we have a lot of weapons. This is a place where we have storage, so usually I just like to dump all the weapons into storage. And then after a little while, every now and then, I'll clean them out. Like, okay, how many do we have? Well, the Hellbore Cannon, that's a great one to keep. Now, this is really important, though, is that we want to start getting a better configuration for our ship. So I'll confirm this, and you know what? I'm going to dump the metal here, too, because we don't really want to carry around that much metal. Um, we'll see how much fuel costs here and supplies. We'll probably pick some more up from the open market. Yeah, it's pretty expensive and no fuel available. We don't mind doing a little bit of trading on black market for fuel. But it's pretty expensive here, so you know what? We'll just go from storage. And we don't really need to take that much. Uh, yeah, that's probably enough to get us where we want to go, at least in order to buy some more fuel cheaply. So I'll buy that. And metal? What is metal selling for here, anyway? Seven. Yep. Not gonna sell metal. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at our ship and see if we can refit it in any way. I put some pretty lame weapons on this ship, an IR pulse laser and an ion cannon. <clears throat> the two harpoons are really good though, because they do track. So if I can knock down the shields or if I can cause a ship to be worried about me. And he, I didn't even put point defense weapons on this ship. <laughs> Which would be offensive if it was me, but yeah, it's, it's just how it works. So we have a graviton beam, and we want we want another graviton beam, like, and there is one available from the black market. So that's what we're gonna do, which means that we're gonna get rid of this flux distributor, and that is enough right there. Okay, graviton beam. It's expensive, but I think this is absolutely how I plan to design my ship. Okay, so do we still have four points left over? This is for the improved maneuverability. Let's just go ahead and put it into the capacitor. So we have, now we need to redo our weapon groups. It's obvious, okay, that, that's already perfect. So the graviton beams are gonna fire whenever they can. And the graviton beams don't have too much flux. Yeah, they're only 75, but they do some real damage to, to shields. So we're talking about 200 DPS per, at, at the shields. And since they're only 75 flux a second, <clears throat> I think that's just really, it's the perfect we have the perfect setup now. These are just spray and pray, and I'm so terrible at firing them anyway, considering we have 50 ammo. Now, I don't think that's 50 barrages. I think each barrage fires five, so this is only 10 barrages. Still, I mean, that's still 10 barrages. I might need to put this on auto fire, but I'm really happy with this ship the way it is now. I, I still think that maybe I prefer the hammerhead, but... Man, just a, a couple more battles with this thing, and what's our experience level at? We need another 9,000 or so experience, 127 out of 138. Because the next level for this, the top speed boost, that's really going to help us stay at range and use our range advantage. And then obviously we want the maneuverability, which is going to be helpful. And then after that, so we have two points to put into ship maneuverability and speed and all that. And then we can go for two points here, which is minus 20% damage taken by shields. Um, you can see I usually don't die just by taking damage to shields, which is why I'm putting this much more on a low priority. I take damage in the little uh, like 60 degree, degree arc in the rear if we're getting surrounded. That's one of the ways I take damage is just getting surrounded. And that's due to not enough top speed, so it's really a symptom more than anything. 
Uh, heavy armor, we could just pay 3,000 to, to buy this and then learn it. I think, even though it's going to cost 3,900 with the tariff, I think we'll do that. I like getting picking up those mod specs. Usually you get them from ships you've blown up. Okay, let's see. Is there any other bounties? Because we've gone 20 minutes. I could call this video to a quick close here. I think I might do that because what I want to do is not waste time on camera. I like all the combat. I like trading quickly to get our ship, like... I'm so excited about the way our ship is now. I really want to test out in combat. Do I want to test out in combat against any of these ships? Probably not. Who was the one with the enforcer, capable officer for nine? Oh no, it's 73. This one seems like it could be doable, but 55 fuel, 16 days away, that's really far. Okay, I don't really think any of these things are interesting. Um, yeah, so I'll call this video to a close here. Nice early close, quick episode. Um, and what I'm going to do is kind of prowl around in the universe waiting for another opportunity to present itself. I, I mean, I haven't even looked at, this is ore and this is transplutonic ore. Are either of these possible? Like, I think we have the, we have the space now that we dumped off all kinds of stuff. And we can always put a little heavy machinery back or sp something. Wait, tactical laser, <laughs> I don't want that. Uh, let's see, is there any trans, no, I'm sorry, trade. Transplutonic ore or anything like that here. Just metal, basically. Yeah, so none of the things that are being asked for are available here. <clears throat> Although there are more mod specs available. Any of these we want to pick up? I mean, with 130,000, we might as well just start leveling up our mod spec skill tree. That's kind of the way I think about this. Decreases the amount of damage dealt by AMP weapons by 50%. Also incre increases the flux, ship's flux dissipation rate while venting by 25%. That's the first part I just don't care about. But the second one is huge. Increasing ship's flux dissipation rate by for while venting by 25%. Obviously, the faster you vent, um, the less time you're vulnerable, which is pretty important. Mm, this is... Uh, insulated engine, engine assembly. I see. So this increases ship engine durability by double. No, no, by 10%. Wait. No, no, yeah, durability, so that's their susceptibility to combat damage. And also the ship's hull integrity by 10%. And another really important thing, especially if you're going to be, like, sneaking around, is the ship, only the ship in, in particular, but has 50% less of a sensor profile. Sensor profile. Armored weapon mounts, I never use this one. Um, there's always something better you can do with your... But, yeah, I mean, eventually we'll get all these. Okay, so anyways, like I said, I'll mope around the galaxy, see what I can find, and I'll come back when we have something else interesting to do. So until then, thanks for watching, and take care.